today I'm going to talk about the last four gates of Samek, which are also the last four gates of Natsak. And we'll go through these very quickly. So we have two triangles and two quadrangles. Now the first gate today is a, quad, a triangle, excuse me, starts in Yesod, goes down that, that path of Samek into Natsak, comes straight up the hidden path to Tiferet, and then down the path of Resh to Netzach. And then, of course, back around. Now, the important thing about this gate is that passage along Resh down to Netzach. That, you know, integrates Resh um, in the uh, uh, dynamic of Samir. The second gate is a quadrangle. It, of course, begins in Yesod, takes Samek down to Netzach, that hidden path up to Tiferet. Now, then we go from Tiferet up to Bina, along the path of Cheth and Cancer, and then Bina straight down to Yesod, and, of course, back around. Now, <clears throat> the most important part of this gate is that passage from Bina down to Yesod, okay? Now, our third gate is, again, a triangle, and it goes from Yesod down to Netzach via the Samek, and then it takes that hidden path straight up to Bina, and then the hidden path from Bina down to Yesod, okay? And the whole point here is bringing Bina the influence of Bina into the dynamic of Samak. Okay? And then our last gate is a quadrangle. And this goes from Yesod down the path of Samak to Netzach, up the hidden path to Kether, Kether along the path of Vav to Bina, and then down the hidden path of Bina to Yesod, and then, of course, back around. Now, again, the, the path of major importance here is from Bina into Yesod. Um, but also this, you know, it brings Kether into the mix. So that's also important, but not as important as the passage from Bina. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's the end of Netzach. Next time we will begin on Hod. Okay, till then.